What's up everyone? So I'm making this video because finally Sony has listened. Uh, this is in regards to a few of my videos that I have made on the topic of Prada Vendetta Rising, uh, which does not work. There are no servers that are active. Uh, it was up for full price in the Sony store up until now. They finally have removed Prada, thus ending the constant cycle of selling a game to somebody that they download to realize they cannot play it and will not be issued a refund. Did I get my refund? Of course not. Um, but I did save whoever else from buying this title that just does not work. It is no longer in the store. This took eight, eight separate communications between myself and Sony customer service. Um, and I had to do all the footwork. I had to provide them proof that these devs were no longer in business, that there was no way to possibly reach them. I had to send them videos of myself attempting to play the game and log in, which you will just get an endless loading cycle that fails to connect to the servers. I had to send them all this video proof for them to finally take it down from the store, which they did, and it looks like they've done that today. Um, so bravo, Sony. It only took you about a year. Hey, but we got it done. Uh, so nobody else is going to get ripped off for buying Prada. Uh, and, and it kind of sucks because it looked like a fantastic title. It looked like a great game. And the online uh, part of this title was very limited at best. So I don't understand why there was even a need to connect. It would have been a great offline game had they, you know, coded it to just let the game work without needing to connect to servers that no longer exist. Uh, I feel that the dev team could have done that before exiting um, to at least let us continue to play all their hard work. But last, that isn't the the uh, the case here. So yeah, I'm just bringing this video to say it's a win. I'm going to take it as a win. Sony is extremely difficult in dealing with to get a message across and communicating with um, and problem resolving any of those type of things. Uh, so if you'll notice up until today, there used to be on the, I'm talking about the PS4 store here now, not the PS5 store, the PS4 store. When you go to all games and then filter through VR games, you would see a total of 383 up until today. Now it's down to 382. Uh, I went and checked and that is the case. Preda is no longer there. You can't even search it. Um, and you know, it's kind of a, a, a sad situation because I would have loved to see them at least fix the title. Um, it, it deserved a fair shot and it would have been a good game for people to play, but they at least did the next best thing, which is remove it to cease taking money from people that they know they are not going to refund. They, they know it. As soon as you download it, they're not going to refund you. And the only way to find out that the game doesn't work is to download it. So it was a catch 22. Um, I felt it was highly unfair. My last message was kind of strong worded to Sony. Uh, I kept it professional, but I told him, you know, I feel like this is a blatant case of, of theft of services. Um, I've, I've told you numerous times that this game does not work. Your policy states once you download a game that you won't refund it. So you're allowing other people to go out and purchase this title for $20 knowing, I've told you guys for a year now, knowing that it doesn't work and then you're not going to refund them. So you're just taking their money and there's not even a developer to hand that their portion over to. So Sony just pockets everybody's $20 repetitively. I'm like, there, there's no cost for that. You know, like I, I feel, I feel like trust has been burned here between us. Um, I'm not so worried about my $20. I've been robbed for more. No big deal. I said, but what really irritates me is you know this is going on. I've had several communications with you and you continue to leave it at the store at full price. Uh, take it down. Have somebody look into it. It's not that hard. This is your product. You maintain it. Um, so they finally did. And hell yeah. I mean, that's great. Uh, go ahead and drop a comment. Let me know your thoughts. As always, please give a like and subscribe. It helps the channel to grow. And I'll try to bring you some more content. I do apologize. I haven't had as many videos as I usually do. 
Um, I'd like to pick back up with my PSVR Hidden Gems You Should Play series. Um, I've just been incredibly busy with Audio Gods. I, I sell car audio here in Jamestown, New York, and that's consumed a lot of my time being the summer. People want their vehicles to sound nice. I'm also a single father. Some of you know Princess Tegan, the VR gamer girl. That's my six-year-old daughter. She's doing her thing. Um, her and Shughead from Shughead Gaming had a great two-hour long uh, mini golf session the other day on the quest. Pretty damn cute. And uh, she has an upcoming uh, interview with Virtual Boys Podcast. That's uh, Christopher Shug from Shughead Gaming and Ryan from the VR Grid. Uh, so you can look forward to that coming. Uh, make sure to subscribe, Virtual Boys. It's a great channel. They explain all things VR. Um, but anyway, that's going to be the end of this video. Have fun. Stay kind. Keep gaming. Peace.